So you've seen a lot of examples of different types of tripwires. We talked about uh, how to create a splinter, uh, how to splinter a tripwire off of your core offer. We've talked about how uh, in many instances, although not all, offering a little victory uh, can, can be very helpful in a tripwire. So we talked around a lot of these different things. I want to give you kind of a comprehensive checklist of the things that I would like to see present in your particular tripwire. Uh, the first one is it should be a low barrier to entry or an impulse buy. So people say, you know, how expensive should my tripwire be? And the answer is it depends. It depends on your market. I mean, if you're in a corporate space and the janitor uh, is approved to spend 500 bucks, then without asking permission, then maybe it's $500. If you're more um, B2C, then it's probably something less than 20 bucks. So I think about it like this, you know, an impulse buy that we can all somewhat relate to is the stick of gum, you know, the pack of gum when you're in line at the grocery store. What's that? What's the pack of gum? Nobody's ever been in line at the grocery store who really wanted gum and said, Ooh, I really want that gum, but I just can't afford it. Right? Children will go and like scratch around and find money to buy a pack of gum. Right? So it shouldn't be priced at an extent that someone who wants it even casually wouldn't just go ahead and grab it. Right? That's what I mean by an impulse buy. Typically, most tripwires are going to be under $20, ideally under $10. Remember we talked about the TV, you know, when 1-800-GOT-JUNK, they'd pick up the TV, that was 29 bucks, right? We've had a lot of success uh, with $7 and $10 and $20 tripwire. So just keep it low. Keep it as low as you can stand it, all right? It should also be easy to understand and explain. If somebody doesn't look at it and see, ooh, I know what that is and I want it, then it's not a great tripwire, okay? So when, when, when we were talking to locksmiths and we said, look, all right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and claim your listing. So you can, just like you have a listing in the phone book, we need to basically get your listing in Google. It's totally free. You just need to know how to go in there and claim it. So we will claim that for you and we'll get you set up with some ads and hundred dollars ad credit. They got it. They understood that trying to explain some SEO techniques. They're just not going to get it. They're locksmiths. They're not, I don't take anything away from, away from locksmiths. It's not their business, right? So it needs to be easy to understand. Um, and explain. Uh, it should also seamlessly lead to the core sale. Seamlessly lead to the core sale. So when they, when you go out to coffee with someone, it makes sense to them, hey, this was nice, let's go get dinner. It seamlessly leads to it. If you deploy a splinter offer, it by nature is going to seamlessly lead to the core sale. But you want to make sure that it's, we're still talking about the same desired end result. We're still moving in the same direction. When somebody buys an execution plan from Digital Marketer, it's very easy to say, great, you have one of our execution plans, how would you like to get the rest of them, right? Uh, and it should be useful, but incomplete. Useful, but incomplete. The keyword here is actually useful. This is not bait and switch. This is not selling someone a car and then saying, oh, you wanted wheels. Well, those are extra, right? Not that. This is, it's useful in its own right. When we sell an execution plan at Digital Marketer, it is useful. It is standalone. It is there, but it is not everything you need to know when it comes to digital marketing. So we sell them the thing that they want. And then we say, now, if you want the whole enchilada, you should consider upgrading your experience. That's useful, but incomplete. It should have a high perceived value. And more importantly, it should have a high actual value. If you can check all of these boxes, pretty confident that you've got a great tripwire that's going to get you a lot more customers. And that is after all the goal of this to get you a bunch more customers moving down your funnel.